I just got the knot. Is it on? Yes. I'm just kidding. Hey, thank you for stopping by. This is the State of the Spark with Grant and Adio with the first official update of the Hope for Hair to Haiti book project. So I wanted to give you a quick overview of what's going on. Uh, so we're going to be covering uh, an update on where we're at, how far we've come, what we've been up to, uh, and then an update on what still remains to be done. So um, we're going to go over that. And then we're also going to go over real briefly what's going on with the actual work involved on the, uh, in Haiti and on the island of Hispaniola. So, uh, update on where we're at. Um, I am super excited to say that in the first six days, we've come one-third of our target goal of $3,900. You guys have helped us hit $1,200 plus. Dollars. Um, we've done that with 25 backers. Uh, five of those backers have hit us at the $99 radiate pack level. And once that was filled, others of you have picked other packs and still given $100 towards the uh, project being complete. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Nurse Troyce. Thank you, David Gruber, David Harvitz, uh, all my good friends. Uh, Eric Flowers from high school, thank you for getting involved. Thank you, everyone, for coming this far. Um, but we still have, part two here, we still have a long way to go. We still have to raise another $2,700 to get the hard book in all of our hands. Um, so, assuming the $24 pack, which is the Ignited Fire pack or higher, we still need about 120 more people. Now, I know some of those 120 people, but so do you, and that's why I still need your help to help us uh, accomplish this project. Now, to those who have backed the project, thank you. Again, thank you to everyone involved. Help us to make sure that we're getting the word out still because you don't get the pack and I don't get the book unless um, we, still, we all accomplish this goal together. So thank you for pledging, but we still have a long way to go. Thank you very much. To those who um, want to back the project and just haven't done so yet, no procrastination on this thing. I need your help right involved as soon as possible. I'd like to actually accomplish this goal by the middle of the month or a little bit later so that we can spend the remainder of the time focusing on how to make each of the packs a little bit better. So the sooner we hit the goal, the more we can focus on making the packs exceptional. Okay. Now, to those who want to back the project but just can't, um, I know where you're at. I understand. You might resonate with the project. You might know me and you might know Marissa. You might know our work in Haiti, but you just are unable to get involved. I understand. That's totally cool. You could still help us by getting the word out. You can post on Facebook, uh, and this is to everyone. You can post on Facebook and also be thinking about Facebook groups, Facebook fan pages of your town, your county, places I've lived, where I know people, places where you've lived and you know people, or some um, Facebook fan pages that are involved in the work in Haiti. Whatever, they all could benefit from at least hearing about what we're doing on Haiti and the Hook From Here to Haiti book project. Likes, just liking the project is huge. Um, emails or phone calls to mutual friends you and I might have, mutual friends you and Marissa might have, um, or just conversations you're having with people that are interested on the mission field. Please, let them know about this work. Um, so, the third thing I wanted to cover is an update on the work that's going on in and around Haiti. Now, on Haiti's side, this very weekend, Kenny's wife, Jenny, and a solid team of people are landing in Haiti along with the Crossing Church, and they'll be pushing the Child Sponsorship Program forward. The Child Sponsorship Program has been phenomenal so far. I, all, we, all the kids we've posted to be sponsored have been sponsored. That's huge. And then all of their sponsors, I think something like 80% of all the sponsors sent a gift a care package to the child. Um, the food needs are being met, the clothing needs are being met, the education needs are being met. You guys have done this. That has been phenomenal. Stateside, Marissa and I are preparing for the big trip. Now, for those who haven't heard, we're taking what we call the trip of a lifetime uh, uh, for ourselves. We are actually stepping off of our work. We're getting in the car May 1st, and we're doing a cross-country drive all around seeing family and friends, promoting the book a little bit, but preparing ourselves for a two-month academy on learning sustainable housing. We're going to be going to New Mexico to learn from Earthships how to do sustainable homes, and we're going to be taking that for the following year. We're going to be moving uh, to the Dominican Republic on the island of Hispaniola to launch into Haiti and to affect the island at large for sustainable homes and the mission field in any way we can. So we're going to be doing that um, starting, uh, starting May 1st at the trip. We'll probably be landing on the island in September. That's craziness. That's coming. We could talk more about that. I'd love to post a video on that, but right now we want to make sure that we have the milestone of having this book done, funded, and in your hands and in our hands, and we think that would be huge to set off this year of living on the mission field. So that's what I wanted to cover. Thank you very much. 
Um, let us know if you have any questions. Give us your feedback. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a great day. Bam! Such a joke.